Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the OTT Navigator Live TV player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole setup is really easy and you'll get the app in just under a couple of minutes. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on your device and start typing the loader in the search bar. As you can see, here it is already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. We click on the loader, and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after we get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. To do so, we'll go to settings. So let's do it. Here they are, open them. Scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. Here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast. So, let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open developer options, make sure to enable it be debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and here we'll have to turn that option on for the loader. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, let's open it. And there we'll find the downloader, which we got to the Fire Stick. However, before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In the VPN app I'm currently connected to Estonia, it means all our internet traffic is totally encrypted and nobody can track us or snoop on us online. And that's really important if we wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on the Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you 3 months of NordVPN totally for free which is an amazing deal. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you this amazing NordVPN deal. And now finally, let's use the loader safely. So now let's finally open up the downloader application. On the left side menu, make sure to click on Home, that's important. And then here, in that search bar, you have to enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, the code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on Go, and in a couple of seconds, a website is going to open up for you. And now, when the website has opened, we have to scroll down a little bit until we see a list of categories. So here it is, and there we gotta click on the IPTV Players category. So we click on it, and a huge list of apps has opened for us. And when you scroll down, you'll finally get the OTT Navigator IPTV Player, which is exactly what we're looking for. So let's click on it. Then probably some kind of ad is going to pop up for you. If it does, make sure to click on Close, because if you click on Open, it's going to mess everything up for you. So click on Close. And then a new web page is also going to open up, which you also have to scroll down. Keep scrolling until you see those unload buttons, so here's the one which we need to use, but if for some reason it does not work for you and the download does not start, you can always use the backup download link, which is just below the usual download button. So now let's click on download, and in a couple of seconds the download should start. As you can see, it's happening really fast. Now just click on the install button and wait until the app gets installed to your Fire Stick. And now do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation file, as we don't really need it anymore. So click on delete, 
and then delete once again. This way we have erased unnecessary files from our Firestick device. After that, let's finally go to the list of applications on the Firestick. Scroll down and there at the bottom you'll find the OTT navigator which we just installed to our Fire TV stick. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button of three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way OTT navigator is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time needed. Then of course don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use my link in the pinned comment below or in the description of the video to get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free. Or just open up your web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. It's also going to give you the same amazing deal. After that, you can finally open the OTT Navigator app. And here, firstly, what you have to do is add a playlist to your application. So you click on that button. And there just enter the m 3 URL link, which you should get from your live TV service provider. After that, you click on apply and the playlist is going to be added to your application. If you are using Xtreme codes instead of the m 3 u link, it's also possible to set up there. So you would need to click on that button, then go to Xtreme codes and there enter the link, login and password to your live TV playlist, which once again you get from your live TV provider. There are thousands of different live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which provider to choose. And pretty much that's it, that's the easy way to get and set up OTT Navigator on your Firestick. Hit the like button and see you next time. Bye bye.